You've also written a second book of creative nonfiction called Observer, the Colonel George Trofimov story, the tale of America's highest ranking military officer convicted of spying. Tell us about how you met Colonel Trofimov. To tell how I met Colonel George Trofimov is rather difficult for me because um, I was convicted uh, of money laundering by my own admission to the Department of Justice where I had been the trustee uh, for my client, Ron Morgan, who was married to the Wall Street Journal heiress, uh, Jackie Bancroft. I had uh, actually laundered forty million dollars and, and most people when they think of laundering think of a dope case or something like that but there's many ways that that you can violate that particular statute in the United States Code uh, and in this case I had the uh, my client Ron Morgan in bankruptcy uh, and I'd set up a trust outside the bankruptcy so that Jackie could funnel money and assets and real estate into that trust but uh, that turned out to be illegal and it was about forty million dollars worth so I spent two years in prison uh, as a result of that in federal prison in North Carolina my cellmate was Colonel George Trofimov now this was a, a full-blown prison uh, not a country club place uh, we were confined to our cell 24-7 uh, and it was just the two of us in that cell. He wanted me to write his appeal from his trial, which had occurred uh, in Florida, in Tampa, Florida, where he was convicted of spying. I told him I couldn't do that because I didn't have all the record. He told me, yes, you do. Uh, and he pulled the entire trial transcript from underneath his mattress in his bunk. He slept on it every night. I got to know him in the course of that year very well, and he became my friend. Uh, and I got to know everything there was about that trial of his, and I wrote the appeal, and now I've written the book.